guys, so welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be unboxing the Witch's Moon for the month of September. So stay tuned. So I got my Witch's Moon in the mail and this is what it looks like when it comes to you and it is making some noises. So and also on the front, I open it up, just the packaging. But it also has your address on the top, but it doesn't let you know who it's from. So it's very discreet, and I absolutely love that about this box. Now this box is about $52 a month, and it's one of my absolute favorite boxes there is. And this is it, let's see if we can get it out. Oh. So, and there she is right there. Oh, she's so pretty. I get so excited for this box every month. This is my favorite. This is my ride and die. This is my favorite box of the whole month. So let's open her up. So here we go. Is it gonna fall out? Like I say, it always does it. And there you go. And, then, and this is what it looks like when you open it up. So the first thing I see is Sirens of Spirits. And this is a spell right here. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the next thing is a card right here. And she is beautiful as well. It says the witch's bell. We're gonna put that down and see what else is inside the box. So there it is right here. And let's open it up. And there we go. So we are going to pull out our oracle card. And this one says, Electra the Awakener, rise. Out of the ashes, I like I rise like the golden sun. Man, does that not say that about me? I could say that for me a thousand times. And that is absolutely gorgeous. And we also have our pamphlet. And I'm not going to read from this because it seems like the more I read from these, my views and my dislikes climb. So I'm just going to let you guys know what the theme of the box is and unbox the box with you guys because that seems to be what you guys seem to like better. And this month is The Witch's Call right there. So let's dig into this thing. I can't wait. So the first things I'm gonna pull out are our herbs and we have Fever Few right here. And we have Angelica Root right there. And we have some flaxseed right there these are very good um herbs i already own let's see angelica root but the other two i do not have so i'm very excited to have these and put these into my collection let's see the next thing we are going to grab is the oil so let's see what this one is and this is aegis anointing oil right there And if you look into it, you can see all the stuff inside of it. Let's do a little smell room. Oh, that smells so good. So good. So I'm just curious to see what is inside of, what herbs it is inside of it. So it's got clover, ground sage, lavender buds, and hiscup. So. It smells so good. So the next thing we have, I see, is our candle. So let's see what color you are. Oh, and it's black. So these are always wax and they're always hand rolled. And they look like honeycombs. I love them so much. And there we go. And there is the candle. Isn't that beautiful? I do. I love their candles. Oh, it smells so good. Love it. And next I see our Pulse of Peace, our Sacred Salt. And these are awesome in your shower. You can put these like in a muslin bag and hang them off your shower or you can put them in your tub. I do like how this is in a darker color. So they don't seem to like crystallize down more and you get more use out of it. So I do, I love their salts. They're and so the good. next thing I see is this little bag right here. Let's open you up. Ooh, that's so pretty. I'm pretty sure that's hematite right there. Isn't that pretty? That's a beautiful stone right there. 
and next we have our instant sticks and we all usually get like six or seven so we got let's see one two three four six of them let's see what they smell like oh they smell so good and we got that and the last thing in the box is this really big container just making sure yep that's it and it making some noise it's been shaking for a while so let's let's open it up you ready oh my god look at this oh, it's a witch's bell oh and that beautiful i mean this thing is like it's it's heavy it's not light at all and at the top you can see all these moons i cannot wait to add this to my collection stop bringing it so, so that is everything we got in the box we got the amazing bell the incense sticks the bath salts your anointing oil you got the stone the candle and we also got the herbs for this month let's do a fast recap on this it says the witches call there are more moments of like six throughout each day that were demand control call upon guides and cast out negative or unwanted energies these practices are so vital during times of overabsorption, chaos, and polarization. Our dedication to the craft provides us with the unique opportunity to maintain and regular, regulate the energies that are allowed to enter our sacred space and ritual areas. Within this power, we are creators and the destroyers, choosing our own path, con connecting with its purpose on a more intimate and meaningful level. And this very special collection provide tools that are unique to the ability to aid and empower us during rituals. This is a one-of-a-kind box and it has been process of creation of many moons and the exclusion to the descriptions of the witch's moon. The artwork was for incantations right here. And then you have everything you need to know about the witch's bell and i will put this in my grimoire and it explains how to use it what you need it for um how to go between the realms of the living and the dead if that makes sense so i didn't want to ring the bell too much because i'm not wanting to bring things into me unless i know what i'm doing and i'm ready for that and i don't have a sacred space here that i you know can do that with right at this second so stop ringing the bell for right now and then we have the power and protection spell candle which is the black candle and then we have the magical anointing oil and this is good for let me just see this is for good for intention of providing you with a token of strength courage and protection as you travel into spiritual realms so this whole thing goes into going into realms with our bell and protecting us and that's why i said i don't want to ring it too much because i don't want to bring what's there into here without me being protected you have the stone and it's great for to accompany you on your path to spirit communications when commonly used it assists us in turning our intentions into physical and spiritual manifestations. So that's good too. It brings back the messages that we want to, you know, say back and forth from the other realms. Let's see, the sticks are good for, it wraps throughout your surroundings, visual, the unity between you and your true intentions becoming more intimate and meaningful. Um, the herb fear, fever fuel is, it provides safety and common, comfort during times of unease chaos confusion and disharmony angelica root gets rid of evil and negative spirits before you beginning your rituals and spells black seed is good to guard you against psychic power and activity and anything that's attached to you and then you have your um your oracle so that's everything in the box that's just a short little run through instead of me sitting there reading everything to you guys and be like liz you're boring so i'm gonna try not to do that no more so but i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys will subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you will be notified every single time that i upload a new video i hope you guys have a wonderful and a magical life and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys